I'm looking for a good reason to try out one of these fast self-tuning EFI systems. Now you don't need a laptop or tuning experience to use this technology. It's a complete system with 4150 throttle body, appropriate injectors, sensors, broadband O2 sensor, and of course the self-tuning ECU. It also comes with a handheld display unit, EFI harness directly to the battery so you don't get interference from outside sources. All right, now it's time to use the handheld display, and this is where we put all the parameters of the engine into the ECU so it can tune itself while you drive, or in our case, run it on the dyno. Now, once again, you don't need a computer engineering degree to work this thing, at least they tell me. Well, first we need to power it up and select yes to start a new tune. Now enter the cubic inches, 345 from this Hemi. Desired idle speed, let's go with 800. We're using a single throttle body, so we select that. 43 PSI is the recommended fuel pressure, and eight cylinders is correct, of course. Now the ECU needs to know what voltage corresponds to open and closed throttle. First, it captures the idle or closed position value. Then it tells us to hold the throttle wide open until it captures that value. And that's it for the basic setup. The next step is to start the engine and let it warm up. Oh, you can also use the handheld to monitor live data like engine temperature, air fuel mix, and so on. Nice smooth run. It still has a little bit of a learning curve to go through, and it's obviously going through it right now. Numbers are getting better and better. Oh, wow. 400 horsepower at 6,000 RPM with 393 foot-pounds at 4,600. This one made 345 in that old Dodge Ram. It's not too bad. Here's a cool feature. Should you lose a sensor like, well, air tip sensor, throttle position sensor, even an injector, the ECU goes into a lift mode, it keeps the motor running, and you've got enough power to make it home. That ought to be some comfort to you car guys.